Greetings happy coders. Welcome to another video and here I am going to show everyone one more time just how to apply the most recent version of the Jetpack RX patch. So here we are. I'm in Fuse. You can also use Spectaculator. I am currently running this as a 48k Spectrum that will allow me to load the original Jetpack in. So you will need a copy of the original jetpack which I will not provide to you you should have your own original copy or version and you will also need the original ultimate version and I'll show you how to spot if you have that so we load this in obviously we're using an emulator so it's in straight away there is the original jetpack notice here it says Kempston joystick if your version says joystick control instead of Kempston joystick that means you have the Sinclair silver label release and this patch I'm afraid is not compatible with that version however I imagine you will be able to source a version with this Kempston joystick mark here so that's where you should begin from the next thing you do very simply open the file and you should have patch 1 and patch 2 open patch 1 and this menu will come up tick this apply patch 1 and you will get this message saying now apply patch 2 so again open open patch 2 install and run and now you'll see that you have the Jetpack RX loading screen at this point you can save a snapshot which you can then load into another emulator or if you prefer you can also create a tap file to create a tap file on fuse you first need to go to media tape clear this will clear a blank tape then press and hold down the key R and then press key T so record tape if you like the border will go white wait for a moment and the game will start if you now look at the tape browse you'll see there is a, a tap that has been created called Jetpack RX all you then have to do is go tape right give it a name in here and that's it you've now saved yourself a tap and from scratch you would now be able to load that in so if I reset the machine and now type load as you can see it loads Jetpack RX and it goes into the game so that's basically how you do it as I said make sure you start with a 48k spectrum once you've created a tap you should be able to load it no problem into a 1 to 8k machine or into a, a spectrum next or whatever else you want to try and um, that should be it if you do have any other issues then please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you and as always happy coding thanks a lot bye bye